Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10s, and in the video today, the top 10 scams targeting tourists who visit Asia. Traveling in Asia is pretty out of this world. The culture is alien, the food is far removed from what people eat back home. And no, we're not just talking about fortune cookies, which were actually invented in San Francisco, by the way. And of course, there is so much more to Asia that's incredible to explore than all of this. And when you're overseas getting lost and rubbing elbows with the natives, it's the best way to experience new cultures, but it also opens you up to scams, as some of these same locals try and suck your hard-earned cash out of your money belt. And some of these scams we're highlighting in today's video. Number 10. Buy baby formula for mother's kids. In many countries, there is real poverty that is present everywhere, even around many tourist hotspots. Tourists are usually savvy about giving money to beggars as they are likely professionals or are being exploited by others into begging. Understandably, foreigners still do want to help, especially when it comes to young children. So when they are approached by a poor mother who refuses money but rather asks them for baby formula instead, they jump at the chance because it's for her baby and it's not for drugs or anything. Right? Well, actually, that's totally wrong. The whole baby formula set up, it's a scam. The baby formula is indeed purchased, often at inflated prices, and handed over to the mother, but as soon as the generous tourist rounds the corner, the mother returns it to the store for cash. In worst-case scenarios, the child is rented by the poor mother and often drugged to be quiet and remain cute. Number 9. Tigers be trippin' at the Tiger Temple in Thailand, there existed the Tiger Temple, a magical place where some of the most dangerous predators on the planet, Indo-Chinese tigers, lived peacefully in harmony with people. Its slogan was, you too can partake in the harmony for a price. Tourists handed over huge amounts of money to get that perfect picture of them posing with or even touching the giant tigers. The mystical orange-clad monks claimed that only through their care were the animals peaceful. This tiger utopia, well, it was all lies. The only reason these predators weren't ripping the throats out of every tourist that was nearby was because they were heavily drugged. When the zoo slash temple was finally raided in 2016, Thai authorities found dozens of lifeless plastic wrapped tiger cubs in huge freezers. Other finds of animal horns and pelts implied that some sort of trade in illegal animal parts was going on by the so called altruistic monks. Facing these charges, the tiger center shut down, but it is due to reopen under a new name. Much like the old temple, the new temple will merely be a tiger circus. Tiger shows in Thailand and throughout the entire world should be avoided. Senior wildlife advisor at World Animal Protection, Dr. Jan Schmidt Burbach, says that the tiger farms have nothing to do with conservation. They just bring extreme suffering to these wild animals whilst living in appalling conditions. These venues need to be stopped in their tracks. Number 8. Border Crossing Scams on many of the borders in Asia, there are fees as you attempt to cross. On the Thai-Cambodia border, there is an entire industry of people who try to insert themselves between you and the border officials for one of these fees. They will make all sorts of claims, including that you need help filling out the forms, you don't, they have simple English forms, or that you can visit a special store to fast-track your visa. You don't need to do that, just walk 100 meters to the border yourself. Do your research for the borders you will cross and be prepared for what you do and do not have to pay. Number 7. Drugged in Japan For travelers, Japan is one of the safest countries in Asia, and indeed the world in general. Its capital, and the largest metropolis in the world, Tokyo, was also ranked the safest in the 2015 Safe Cities Index. Of all the special districts that make up Tokyo, Roppongi is one of its larger entertainment centers. Catering to foreigners and the large amount of American military personnel stationed in the country, Roppongi is one of the rowdiest places to party. But with Tokyo being such a safe place, people tend to let their guard down. Recently, aspiring criminals they have been taking advantage of this. Hundreds of men report being approached by gorgeous women who offer them drinks that are, unbeknownst to them, spiked. Flattered at this hospitality, the men agree and down the drink, only to wake up the next day, passed out on the street without their belongings and thousands of dollars in credit card charges racked up on their accounts. The problem actually got so bad that the US Embassy in Japan had to issue an alert for the district. Number 6. Closed Attraction Scam this scam is incredibly common throughout Asia. A tourist armed with a map or Lonely Planet guide will be walking down the street on their way to a local famous attraction. A helpful local will come up and ask where they are going. Excited to be interacting with the locals, the visitor will say that they are going to such and such attraction. The helpful local will then explain that unfortunately the attraction is closed that day or it's under construction or some other stuff like that. But they will say do not worry because there are many temples nearby that are off the tourist track and just as interesting. The tourist will then 
thank the local for their valuable advice and visit these other undiscovered hotspots of culture, which more or not often just turn out to be a gift store or a high-pressure shopping area where people are pressured into buying all sorts of crap. In this situation, always do go to check to see if the temple is actually closed. It's probably not. Number 5. Tea Ceremony Scam at popular tourist hotspots in China and Southeast Asia, local young people, usually cute girls, will greet tourists and strike up conversations. They will make a bond and offer to show the tourist the local sites under the guise of practicing English or training for a future tourism job. The tourist will be excited at experiencing authentic culture with some really nice people. And then the young students will charm their way into their confidence and once trust has been gained, suggest going to a tea ceremony shop. The traveler agrees, thinking, I mean, how much could it possibly cost? Then, after an elaborate demonstration of tea, or sometimes it's craft beer or something, they are given a huge bill amounting to hundreds of American dollars. And at that point, you're trapped. You can refuse to pay, but the police will likely be called and they're likely going to side with the owner. Always be suspicious and ask up front how much things cost. Number 4. Win a free prize? Do listen to a hard sell for timeshares. This is one of the most common scams in the world. Timeshare companies around the world have notoriously offered prizes or free holidays to unsuspecting people who didn't even know they had entered a contest. When they show up, they only have to listen to a 90-minute hard sell for timeshares, but the reality is this can sometimes go on for as long as six hours. When they finally get through this ordeal, they find that the prizes they were offered are non-existent or they have so many hoops to jump through that the prize simply isn't worth it. Those scams they've now moved to Asia, where groups of young locals will approach tourists with scratch tickets. When scratched, the unsuspecting visitors win a prize or holiday package if they sit through a hard sell sales pitch. If they do purchase the timeshare, customers are often locked into contracts that are incredibly hard to break and they pay huge annual maintenance costs even if they don't ever visit. Now there is a new double dip scam where companies guarantee to get the customer out of the timeshare agreement for a small fee of a few hundred dollars. Then, once the money is handed over, the very official sounding company, they simply disappear off the face of the earth. Number 3. Credit card number scams. These take many forms, but when you're on vacation, perhaps the most common one is the fake wake-up call. This is where someone will call pretending to be from the front desk, asking you for your credit card details and more of your personal information. Another common method is card skimmers at ATMs that not only get your number, but also your PIN code. Always look around for people watching you type in your PIN or trying to help you with the ATM. The only thing they're trying to help you with is expediting the loss of money from your wallet. Number 2. Bird Poop Scam Common throughout the world, as well as Asia, be on the lookout for bird poop people. Visitors will be walking around, checking out the sights of a new city, when all of a sudden a bird will empty its bowels upon them. It turns out in many cases that this is really just a scammer behind you squeezing goo onto your head and backpack. The bird poop is probably just mustard and food coloring, but it does look real enough. Embarrassed by the presence of the poo, tourists will gladly welcome locals that magically appear with a water bottle in order to clean the poo off. While the visitors are focused on the poo, the helpful locals will gladly pickpocket at the person. Number 1. Orphanage Scams Recently, it has become common to integrate more socially responsible activities into trip itineraries. Instead of days of drinking on the beach, people are opting for a trip to support a local arts program or a conservation effort. In this vein, an entire industry for visiting orphanages has been created. On the face of it, it seems like a good idea. The children get to experience adult figures in their life while at the same time experiencing different cultures. The money the tourists pay or donate helps cover the children's cost of living. As the orphanage industrial complex evolved, it morphed into basically a zoo for children or a cat cafe for babies. Instead of the local community adopting the children into their families, the orphans are forced to stay in the orphanage, and some aren't even orphans. Instead, they are kept for the sole purpose of attracting more paying tourists. This creates a cycle of exploitation that would horrify the foreign visitors if they knew the truth. Also, while it feels good to hug a child and walk away, the rotating door of loving strangers can actually harm the vulnerable children's developing minds. So I really hope you found that video useful. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. And thank you for watching. So you're still here, still watching this video. Maybe you just let it run and you're not actually there anymore. Whatever the case, if you're listening to this, I think you should go check out my new channel. It's called Biographics. It is biographies of notable historic figures as well as present day people. Let me give you some examples. We got the Queen of England, Vladimir Putin. Those just two people on the world stage. We also got Elon Musk coming up, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We, even the first serial killer, H.H.H. H. H. Holmes, maybe just H.H. H. Holmes. 
we look at all sorts of people, longer form, about 20 minutes long, diving into the story of their lives in a similar style to this. It's biographics. If you like this channel, if you like my other stuff, you're going to like this as well. Biographics, there is a link in the description below. Do go check it out and please do subscribe.